Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very special and delicate story to share with you. Meet this adorable baby, who was born with an extra finger, a condition medically known as polydactyly. While it may seem unusual, this is actually a common congenital anomaly that many babies are born with worldwide. Today, we will take you behind the scenes of the surgery where our expert doctors gently remove the extra finger. You'll see the procedure step by step, learn about the medical reasons, and understand how careful surgical care ensures the baby's safety and comfort. So, stay with us to witness this amazing and heartwarming journey. Polydactyly is a condition in which a baby is born with more than the usual number of fingers or toes. It can affect one or both hands and is usually harmless, but sometimes it can interfere with normal hand function or cause cosmetic concerns. The extra finger may be fully formed or may consist of only soft tissue. In some cases, it has bones and joints, while in others, it may just be a small piece of skin or tissue attached to the hand. Doctors assess each case carefully to decide whether surgery is necessary, and if so, when it should be done. In our case today, the extra finger is well-formed and could affect hand function in the future, so surgical removal is the best option. Before any surgery, preparation is key. Our medical team first examines the baby thoroughly to ensure overall health. Blood tests and imaging studies may be done to understand the structure of the extra finger. Parents are counseled about the procedure, anesthesia, and expected recovery. It's important that the family feels informed and confident, as this helps reduce stress for both the baby and the caregivers. On the day of surgery, the baby is carefully prepared in a sterile environment. Pediatric anesthesiologists monitor vital signs continuously to ensure the baby remains safe and comfortable throughout the procedure. Depending on the baby's age and the complexity of the extra finger, our skilled surgeon makes a precise incision to remove the extra finger while preserving nerves, blood vessels, and normal tissue. The process is delicate and requires immense precision. Every step is performed with care to minimize discomfort and ensure the hand's normal function after recovery. After removal, the surgeon carefully closes the incision with fine sutures. A small bandage is applied, and the hand is supported to promote healing. Despite being a minor procedure in surgical terms, it requires expertise and careful attention to detail. After surgery, post-operative care is crucial. The baby is monitored closely for a few hours to ensure there is no infection, bleeding, or discomfort. Pain is managed carefully with medications suitable for infants. Parents are taught how to care for the incision at home, including cleaning, changing dressings, and watching for any signs of infection. Most babies recover very quickly and adapt to using their hand normally after a few weeks. Surgery can be stressful, especially for parents, but seeing the baby recover and use their hand normally is incredibly rewarding. For families, this is not just a medical procedure. It's a journey of love, care, and hope. With modern pediatric surgery, conditions like polydactyly can be treated safely, allowing children to grow up without functional limitations or social concerns. It's a reminder of how advanced medical care, combined with compassion, can make a real difference in a child's life. For those watching, it's important to know that polydactyly occurs in about one in every 500 to 1,000 live births, can be inherited or occur spontaneously. After the removal of an extra finger, the baby's hand is delicate and vulnerable. Proper dressing protects the incision from infection, reduces the risk of bleeding, and helps the baby move comfortably without disturbing the healing tissue. Even though the surgery may seem minor, the baby's tiny hand is sensitive and improper care can lead to complications such as irritation, infection, or delayed healing. That's why post-surgery dressing and monitoring are just as important as the operation itself. Cleaning the incision is a crucial step. After surgery, the site must be kept clean to prevent infection. Here's the proper method. 1. Gentle cleaning. Use a sterile saline solution or a mild antiseptic recommended by the doctor. 2. Avoid rubbing. Pat the area gently with a sterile gauze. Do not rub, as this can irritate the incision. 3. Check for signs of infection. Look for redness, swelling, or unusual discharge. If any of these appear, contact your doctor immediately. 
Proper cleaning ensures that the incision stays healthy and heals faster. Once the incision is clean, it's time to apply the dressing. The steps are simple but must be done carefully. 1. Layering. Place a sterile gauze pad directly over the incision. Make sure it covers the wound completely. 2. Securing. Use soft, hypoallergenic tape or a gentle bandage to secure the gauze. Avoid wrapping too tightly. The baby's circulation must remain unrestricted. 3. Comfort and mobility. Ensure that the fingers not involved in surgery can move freely. This helps the baby remain comfortable and reduces stress. A well-applied dressing protects the incision, prevents infection, and supports faster recovery. Dressing is not a one-time process. Monitoring the baby's hand is essential. 1. Regular inspection. Check the dressing for wetness, dirt, or slippage. Replace it if needed. 2. Observe baby's behavior. Crying, fussiness, or touching the hand can indicate discomfort or pain. Post-surgery care can be stressful for parents. It's normal to worry about infection, bandages, or your baby's discomfort. Doctors and nurses encourage parents to participate, learn dressing techniques, and gain confidence in handling their baby safely. Support, reassurance, and knowledge empower parents to provide the best care, making the recovery process smoother for both baby and family. A healthy incision shows gradual healing. A slight pinkness is normal, but redness or swelling may indicate infection. A minimal clear discharge can be normal, but yellow or foul-smelling fluid is a warning sign. Uh, the baby should start using the remaining fingers normally as they heal. If you notice unusual changes, persistent crying, fever, or signs of infection, contact your pediatrician immediately. Early intervention ensures smooth healing and prevents complications. Viewers, it's important to understand that post-operative care is as crucial as the surgery itself. Baby's skin is delicate, and their immune system is still developing. Proper cleaning, gentle dressing, monitoring, and pain management all contribute to optimal recovery. Parents can be active participants in this process. Learning dressing techniques, monitoring for infection, and ensuring comfort can make a significant difference in outcomes and in the baby's overall well-being. This concludes our step-by-step -step guide on dressing and caring for a baby's hand after extra finger removal. Remember, surgery is only the first step. Attentive post-operative care ensures your baby heals safely, comfortably, and quickly. While some families may choose to leave minor cases untreated, Surgical removal is recommended when the extra finger affects function or may lead to discomfort in the future. Pediatric surgeons always weigh the risks and benefits before performing surgery, and outcomes are generally excellent. This was an incredible journey, from birth with an extra finger to successful surgery and recovery. Watching our tiny patient heal and thrive reminds us why pediatric surgery is so rewarding. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative and heartwarming, Please like, share, and subscribe for more stories of hope, health, and amazing medical care. And remember, every child deserves expert care and a chance to grow up healthy and happy.